Oh, y'all. Good morning. Get your comments up here. Comment hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. Come on, face face. Why are you so mean? Why? Why? <laughs> I hate the mood. There we go. Patience, KJ. All right. Good morning. I should get an apron. Y'all, I am so tired. I am so tired. I have issues this morning. Oh, yesterday was insane. I started work at 345 and I did my work and it went beautifully smooth. It went so well. And then I worked the rest of the day and then I went and I had, um, I had my booster shot yesterday afternoon. And then after I was like, you know what? We're, we're planning on buying a new TV. So for Christmas, we like to do something family gift, like a family, something for the three of us that we can enjoy. So um, usually it's something small, <laughs> but we had tickets to go see Dude Perfect for Marin two years ago and then COVID struck and they got delayed, delayed, delayed. And then they were supposed to be this month. And because of COVID still being as rampant as it was, we're not comfortable going um, because it was sold out. So we decided to sell the tickets. So we sold the tickets and we decided to buy a new television. We needed a new TV. We... Need is a strong word. We didn't need. Ours was acting a little funky here and there and the apps didn't work on it anymore. So we decided, we said, let's get a new TV. And then we went last night to look at them. And let me just tell you, we went on a Tuesday night because we won't go into crowded stores right now. We just won't. And there's nobody at Best Buy on Tuesday at all. Sam's Club didn't have what we wanted. So we went to Best Buy. And let me just tell you, you do not bring a man who likes televisions into Best Buy to look at TVs. You go online, you find the size TV you want, you find the model you want, you buy it and you pick it up curbside. Because if you go in the store to look at TVs, you come out with a TV that's way bigger and way more expensive and way fancier than you planned. Let me just tell you, this TV, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. It's about this thin. It's paper thin. It's, there's, it's, it's, I've never seen anything like it. It's so skinny and it's jet black and the color, I mean, listen, I'm blaming it on Tony. It wasn't really his fault. I was like, we should get that TV, that one over there. And he's like, I thought we wanted this price range. And I'm like, but look at that TV. And then once he started looking, it was all over. Thank you, Kaylee, for the stars. I appreciate that. If you're wondering what the stars are, if you send me stars while I'm doing a live video, it helps support the creation of these videos. So I appreciate the stars that y'all send me. It's um, it's helpful to me to continue these videos for free. It, it helps my journey, so I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so we we went in for a Samsung 55 inch, came out with a Sony 65 inch. The thing is huge, it's insane. It's bigger than our stand. It hangs off our stand by six inches on each side. And it took us three hours to put it together last night, which sounds ridiculous, but we're very careful people. And by we, I mean Tony. He's ridiculous with that. So it took us forever to put together. Let me open my pumpkin. But the other thing is, after we put it together, I'm like, okay. It's together. It's nine o'clock. I need to go do treadmill devotions. So I went downstairs and I did treadmill devotions and then I got off treadmill devotions and I'm like, okay, I'm going to bed. Well, then I came upstairs 
and it came with free Disney Plus. And Disney Plus was up on the screen. I was like, oh, I bet The Lion King is pretty on this TV. Let's just watch the opening song because I love The Lion King. I just, I grew, the, like, The Lion King is my jam. It's my jam. So I turned on The Lion King to watch the opening song and watch the entire movie. <laughs> As I couldn't look away, I was like, it's almost like I was a cartoon in the movie and I my singing was spectacular okay I was singing Hakuna Matata right along with them and it was just flowing out of me like the angels and I couldn't stop I couldn't so I watched the entire Lion King and I looking at the clock going it's 10 it's 10.15, it's 10.30, it's 11. you've been up since 3.45, you're gonna be exhausted tomorrow, KJ, get your butt in bed. And then the credits went, oh, oh, Ashley, girl, I have seen it on Broadway. I saw it on Broadway in Boston, Broadway in Boston, and then, why did my computer just go to sleep? I hope my camera didn't just shut off, what's going on? My computer just shut off. Oh my gosh, I have no idea if I'm live anymore, I assume I am. I'm live, but my computer shut off, so I can't, why did my computer just shut down? Is it not plugged in? It is plugged in, what's going on? All right, let me flip over to Facebook or restream on here so I can see your comments because, okay, here you go, I just went to sleep, there we go. Went to sleep for a minute, don't know why. It was weird, just a little hiccup there. Um, so I went to see it in Boston and then, thank you, Tracy. Thank you for the stars. Um, then we went to, we went to see it in New York. Did we see it in New York first, mom? Are you even on? You're probably not on. We saw it in New York first. And when we're sitting there, we were like four rows back when we went to see it in New York. And we were, <laughs> mom and I were sitting there. <laughs> if you have seen it on Broadway, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The animals in the beginning, that, you know, that music in the beginning of Lion King. I'm not going to imitate it, even though I'm really good at it. That the, li the lions and stuff and the giraffes start coming down the aisles beside you. And I turned and this elephant character was coming. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. That elephant was coming down and his ears were flopping and I lost it. <laughs> I started crying. I'm like, <gasps> Mom and I are both sitting there <gasps> just crying at the, in the first 10 minutes. It's overwhelming on Broadway. It's, it's just, that's all I have to say about that. It's unbelievable. I have goosebumps. My leg hair just grew a quarter of an inch. My goosebumps were so strong. It's just amazing. So anywho, that's why I'm tired this morning because the Lion King got the best of me. Scar got the best of me. All right, two eggs. I'm making hot pumpkin custard. Hot pumpkin custard. So, two eggs. And my arm is so sore from my shot yesterday that I can hardly lift it. It hurts all the way up into my neck. It was, my first shot was not painful. My flu shot was incredibly painful. Bye, Tracy. My shoe, shoe flot was incredibly painful this year, but this booster shot hurt. I'm kind of a wimp. I kind of let a little yelp out of me, but it's all right. I can deal. All right. What now? It says to add the eggs or whisk the eggs all before you put this on the heat. I'm so glad. I'm so glad Sherry and Cheryl that you guys cried at the Lion King. I'm doing pumpkin Anne Marie. I'm doing Brianna Thomas's hot pumpkin custard, which is online. I know it's online. I'm so glad that you guys cried. It makes me feel less dumb for crying over a elephant made out of cloth. But I couldn't help it. I mean, and then I did it again in Boston. Boston was almost as good as New York. Although I don't think there's much that beats New York. Just New York. That's the only one I've ever, that's the only thing I've ever seen on Broadway is the Lion King. Right? Yes. Yes. Pretty amazing. Amazing. That was years ago. Now I don't like people, so I don't go. 
I like people. I don't like crowds. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> so true. I love Beauty and the Beast too. I, I've got uh, Nemo is probably up there in my cartoon faves. I like Nemo an awful lot. Pay attention, KJ. Two thirds cup almond milk, aka cashew milk. Oh, well, that just went everywhere. This is going to be one of those days because when I picked this up out of my fridge, I went to shake it a little and the cap wasn't on and it flung almond milk all over the front of my fridge and all over my counter and I had to clean that up and my, my cover is not staying in for some reason. And now it's all over my floor and down the side of this cabinet. It's just going to be one of those days. It's just going to be one of those days. So I'll just do it. Should have called in sick so I could watch TV. Hope my boss ain't watching. Herbie's on there. Hey Abby, newbie here. I love start. Oh, I love that you're here to start your mornings with me. Oh, Sarah, that's so sweet. You got you got Margarita. You're gonna love your almond cow. I got um two. <laughs> I, you guys, I had enough referral codes for two. So I bought two almond milk cows. Almond milk cow. What did I call it that? I got two almond cows. I'm going to give one away on my New Year's Eve party. So if you're part of my ongoing group coaching, then you have an automatic seat in my New Year's Eve party and you have an automatic chance to win an almond cow. And if you already have one, you can give it to somebody you love. And then... So you get an automatic seat in that. Or you can register just for my New Year's Eve party. So I have lots of classes coming up. I have this Friday night. We are having a cupcake class. We are making, how much of the pumpkin do I need? A third of a cup, not two thirds. I'm overdoing it. Friday night, we're having a cupcake class and we're making cookie dough chocolate cupcakes with chocolate chip cookie dough frosting. We're making vanilla cream cupcakes with vanilla cream. So if you wanna join that, go sign up on my website. Um, sign up for either ongoing group coaching or the class. And then on November something else, another November day, it's a Saturday morning, we're having a pie class and we're having a Yule log class and I'm doing a candy class that I'm working on. I haven't put that out there. It's going to be kind of a last minute one. Candy class. Uh, I think cordial cherries. I'm working on that. So if you want to be part of all of those, go sign up for continuous group coaching. Now's your time. That will give you, that will save you some money doing it that way. All right. How much coconut oil? Two teaspoons. Refined coconut oil. So usually her custards are deep S and this doesn't say that, but is pumpkin a deep S? I'm wondering if pumpkin takes it out of deep S mode. I don't know. I have to go look at that. It might take it out of deep S mode maybe. Maybe that's why. All right, pumpkin pie spice. That's a great name, Faith. Everybody's cow has got to, you gotta name your almond cow. It's part of the requirements of owning an almond cow. You have to name it. All right, quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. teaspoon of stevia. I'm such a wimp, you guys. I don't handle pain very well. Eighth of a teaspoon. It would be four dunks. I did that math just like that in my head. Do you see that? Do you see how quick I did that math? I totally figured it out before. A hearty dash. Not just a little dash or a little one. It says hearty. Hearty dash. I know what that means. A vanilla. Oh, salt. I skipped over the salt. How much salt we got going on here? An eighth of a teaspoon. Eighth of a teaspoon of salt and then some gluk. The gluk is the key, so. Pumpkin on my counter. All right. Oh, good faith. I'm glad they are replacing your order. That's good of them. All right. Got to whisk the glucky while we put it in. A quarter teaspoon of the gluk. 
The problem is I can't whisk with my left hand and I can't shake very well with my left hand. I'm, I'm very right hand dominant. I don't think anybody does, Kaylee. If you, are, if you are measuring vanilla, you need to stop. Unless it's real vanilla because that stuff's expensive. All right. Add the glucamine in. Heat the custard on medium heat just until it starts bubbling. Okay. Doesn't say to whisk it while it heats. Oh, yes, it does. Whisk it often. When the custard starts to bubble, turn off or turn it down to low if you've got gas. If you've got gas. If you. That's a private thing. Yes, Terry, those Facebook stars that you can send um, help support me financially to create these videos. It's, a, it's not something you have to do. I appreciate when you do. It is not something I'm, you know, it's, a help, it's helpful to the creation of these videos. Um, yes. Okay. Pull the custard off the burner a little bit before you think it's done so the custard doesn't get too hot and curdle. Okay, sounds like we gotta pay attention. It says to whisk it often. Does that give me time in between my whisking to make a cup of gel? I'm gonna assume that it does. Because I need a cup of uh, Unrest Coffee's Harvest Spice to go with this. Sounds like the perfect coffee for my custard. What's going on? I got some stuck. Man, you guys should see the frost we have here today. Thick. Frost is cold. Ashley, you can find this one online, but it's also in Convenient Foods. Uh, Brianna's Convenient Food Cookbook. Custard is finicky. You want to pay more attention to it than I am, or you might get scrambled eggs. I was about to make a statement that I've made custard often enough that I'm not worried about it. I know how to do it. But this will be the time that I end up with scrambled eggs just because I said that. And then I'll be all embarrassed. Let's do, where's my, where's my Bonnie mug? Oh, it's right here. I got my Bonnie this morning. I need a little Bonnie clap in my Bonnie abomination maker coffee thingy. Just until it starts to bubble. We're not there yet. Oh, starting to bubble. Now what does she say to do after it starts to bubble? When the custard starts to bubble, turn the burner off. And I know she said with, with gas heat. I'm out of water. Who'd have thought I'd ever run out of water in my coffee pot? Who'd have thunk it? Take it off the heat. Oh my word, it smells amazing. Basically, you're just tempering the eggs. So you're bringing them up to heat slowly while you whisk. That's all, all you're trying to do. That's going to turn it into a silky smooth custard instead of scrambled eggs if you're lucky. Pay attention. Turn the heat down. Get on low. She said don't turn it off. If you have gas stove, just keep it low. How long do I do this? Pull the custard off the burner a little bit before you think it's done. Okay, so I need to know what I think is done. I don't think it's done yet. Oh, I got a little scramble going on the edge. I got a little bit of scramble. I heard you. I have important things happening right now. Slow your roll. I did good, but I think I got a little scramble on one part. I got a little chunk of egg floating around in there. That's all right. I don't know. I can't tell, Brianna. I know how to tell with the yellow one, but I can't tell with the pumpkin. I can't tell. I don't want to eat raw eggs. All right, I think it's done because it's starting to get texture and I don't want it texture. So I think I'm there. My computer went to sleep again. I don't know, is it done? I'm gonna assume. I did 
don't know. I'm nervous. I can't tell. Usually I can tell when custard's done. It's done. It's done. Silky smooth. And a little bit not silky smooth. See, I shouldn't have walked away. That's what I get for not paying attention. I got a tiny bit of texture in my custard. It's okay. It's fine. And then it says to top it with butter or coconut oil. I'm going to top it with my, my dairy-free butter. Where is it? It's down. Where did I put that dairy-free butter, y'all? Where do you think I hid that? Somebody snuck in my house and stole my dairy free butter. All right, she says, top it with a teaspoon of butter. I'm gonna use my coconut oil butter that I made. Oh, I just got it all over the book. A little cinnamon and a little super sweet. Okay, okay. Can do. I think you'd be all right. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Did you link the recipe? Thank you. Thank you for the stars, you guys. I'm very grateful. It's a huge benefit to me. Helps my work. This has officially become work. And by saying that, I don't mean that it's hard for me. I mean, this is actually a job for me these days. And I am working on making it a job, a real job. And it's getting there. So I appreciate your support with the stars while I make the videos. All right, let's fill up my water. Does that make you happy, Brenda? Not Brenda. Sorry, Brenda. Bonnie. I get the names of my appliances confused. This is Bonnie, Bonnie the Coffee Abomination Machine. That is Brenda the Blenda. I got to keep it straight. All right, I'm just going to have a basic trimming so y'all don't need to see that. I did, Cheryl, so I made off the Almond Cow website, you don't have to have an Almond Cow to do it, but off the Almond Cow website, they have recipes, and one of them is for dairy-free butter, um, and it's made of coconut oil and butter extract, and there's some butter flavor, I used butter flavor coconut oil, and some, you curdle some almond milk and vinegar and and it smells just like butter and when it melts it melts look it melts beautifully like butter let's give it a taste my my custard did separate a little all right that is good you guys that is delicious that is exactly what i needed this morning that is exactly what I wanted, was warm and cozy, and that's what I got. Some serious warm and cozy here. Yes, you can, George. You can make walnut milk, oat milk, coconut milk, almond milk, cashew milk, hazelnut milk. It's like the Bubba Gump shrimp of nut milk. You can make anything you want. My binder thing, you guys, is coming out of this book. Look, I lost a whole row over here. I'll never get that put back in a million years, ever. I'm not even gonna try. All right, you guys, thank you again. I appreciate your support. Thanks for the stars, thanks for watching, thanks for joining. If you want to be part of the cupcake class this Friday, make sure you go get in on either group coaching or sign up just for the cupcake class. It's right on my website. Uh, the ingredients that you'll need for the cupcake class <clears throat> the ingredients you'll need for the cupcake class are listed right on the registration page. What? Oh, Kayla, yes, you need to name your ninja girl. You need to name it. Name it like, what's that guy, what's that actor that does the ninja stuff in all the movies? He's funny. He's wicked funny. Jackie Chan. Call it, name it that. Because he's a ninja. Literally a ninja. Oh, I'm going to let that drip. It's being 
I made an egg sandwich on a sprouted English muffin with half yellow bell pepper, light laughing cow cheese, and everything but the bagel seasoning. Sarah, that sounds amazing. Amazing. If you haven't seen that quick video, it was like uh, 45 seconds video that I did making that egg white sandwich yesterday, y'all, you should make that. It was so succulent and so good. And that toasted corn and I don't know, Kaylee. He does a lot of karate in his movies and ninja-like moves. I don't know. I don't know if he is. I don't know. I just know he's really good at his art. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, that toasted corn and bean salad from Trim Healthy Future. If you haven't tried that, you guys, so good. So, so good. It is delicious. I've been putting it on top of Cancun chicken. I've been putting it in a bowl of cauliflower rice. I've been eating it by itself. It is amazing. So go make that. All right, you guys. Oh, I was going to show you real quick. Real quick. This is what I do with my leftover pumpkin. I use a disc mold. Hamburger bun mold is what it really is. I slap a little pumpkin in there. I try to keep it level with the top. I slap the pumpkin in each one. I have to give a little to the dog. I can't freeze it all. Usually I have enough to fill this whole thing because I buy the big cans of pumpkin, but this is just a regular size. I fill each disc with a little bit of pumpkin. And then I throw it in the freezer and I throw them in a Ziploc bag and anytime I want pumpkin, I've got it and I don't have to eat pumpkin stuff the entire week if I don't want to. Easy, look, that's, how, that's what I do with my leftover pumpkin. I'll stick that in the freezer when we're done. Okay, and we're done. All right, I love you all. Have a beautiful day. Stay on plan today. Oh, I just got, I just got a notification that my almond cow is out for delivery. I just ordered it Monday. Wow, that was fast. Um, I think it's a third of a cup, Cheryl. It's a third of a cup. All right, you guys, I love you all. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you back tomorrow morning. And if you are following Treadmill Devotions, or if you're not following Treadmill Devotions, you should follow Treadmill Devotions because tomorrow is the crucifixion. And if you ever wondered why people follow Christ, you come listen tomorrow and find out what he did because it's brutal and it's going to be a good reading tomorrow. So I love you all. Have a blessed day. I'll see you back. It's the on plan day of the week. Thank you for the reminder, Anne-Marie. Don't go off plan on the on plan day of the week. You're not allowed to. KJ said so. I love you guys.